Hunter Stone videos the guys, and I have proof of it. I have proof of the videos. I have proof of the text messages and everything. When she did come back, I think she was she was pregnant by somebody else. There's only one attorney, right? All right. Hello, hello, hello. This is Mike Gravel coming to you from Chicago, as usual, and we have got us a Donnybrook. <laughs> it gets so much worse. It gets so much worse. As the, as the thumbnail suggests, this, this guy married a stripper. And, you know, it, it goes... It goes kind of the way you think it would. <laughs> well, let's continue our ongoing series in the power of love here at Law Talk with Mike. <laughs> All right, guys, we're just waiting. It's sped up, but the audio is excellent. So it's you're you're not you're not imagining things. The the audio is sped up, but that's the way I got it. And for everybody to connect here, I think I'm here. Miss, yep, you're here. We can hear you, sir. Okay, can you hear us? Yes, yes. And sir, and sir, how do you pronounce your last name? Tortomosi. Okay, I appreciate that. No and problem. Just saying, so you know, Mr. Tortomosi does not yet have audio connected, so we're just waiting for um, defendant's okay. audio to connect before we begin. It looks like it's connected now. All right. Good morning, everybody. I am referee Brian uh, Nicholas with the Macomb County Family Court. And we're here on the case of uh, Tortomosi versus Tortomosi, case number 2022-7917-DM. And counsel, could you please state your appearance for the record? Yes. Good morning, Your Honor. For the record, Mary DeRoss appearing on behalf of the plaintiff father, Anthony Tortomosi. All right. And sir, your name for the record? Anthony Tortomosi. All right. And do we have Ms. Tortomosi here as well? Ma'am, are you here? Yes. Good morning, Your Honor. Okay, ma'am, your name for the record? Stephanie Tortomosi. And ma'am, are you able to turn your camera on? If you can, we'd greatly appreciate that. Um, yep. Oh. Not working for you? Yeah, it's just not working. Okay. And Mr. Tornamosi, you recognize Ms. Tornamosi's voice? Yes. All right. So, um, if ma'am, if you get that working as you go along, feel free to do so. However, if unable, uh, it does appear it's Ms. Tornamosi based on a plaintiff's indication that is uh, her. All right. I want to thank everybody for appearing via Zoom today. Uh, please realize that even though you're appearing remotely, this is a legal proceeding, just as if everybody was here and present in the courtroom. Mr. Tortomosi or Ms. Tortomosi, any questions for myself or counsel that this, in fact, is a legal proceeding today? No. No. All right. All right. And we're here today on plaintiff's motion to enforce the judgment of divorce in regards um, to legal custody uh, to prevent defendant from appearing at the children's school and prohibiting posting of children's photos on social media. And just so you know, Ms. Tortomosi, you will be given a full opportunity to respond once counsel's done with um, her argument. Okay. Okay. All right. And counsel, if you'd like to proceed. Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. Uh, it gives me no great pleasure in taking up the court's time this morning. I did attempt to send a copy of this motion along with a letter urging Ms. Tortomosi to uh, remove the pictures from social media to avoid having to appear today, but that did not occur. Just by way of background, Your Honor, a judgment was entered on August 16th, 2022, and in that it granted plaintiff father sole legal and sole physical custody of the minor children. That because of that provision, it's our uh, assertion that defendant mother has no authority to appear at the children's school, to remove them from school, or to otherwise appear outside her structured parenting time, which is supervised. Uh, there is also contained in that judgment, although it was loosely worded, and we would like some clarification from the court today, that she shall not post any pictures of the children on social media that this should include members of her family. Uh, recently, her the maternal grandfather was posting uh, various pictures of the children on social media, and because of his conviction in the past for being a predator, we would urge the uh, clause to be expanded to include any of her family members. Therefore, we're asking the court to enter an order uh, uh, prohibiting her from appearing at the children's school, and also from providing pictures of the minor children, either on social media or to any of our family members. We want to prohibit her from doing that. And failure to comply with that, I, I would ask the court to indicate that she'll be prohibited from taking pictures, period, of her children. Okay, so let me ask this question. So this judgment was a default judgment entered on August 16, 2022. I'm going to be honest, guys. Um, and is there any allegations these pictures were inappropriate in any way? Were they just pictures of the children and that anyone would want or post as a parent? Mr. Tortomosi, Mr. Tortomosi, this is for, oh, this is for you. 
I mean, was there anything inappropriate in these pictures or were these pictures that a parent would have of their children? It's really not inappropriate. What it is, it's her crowd of people that she's around. She hangs around with dangerous people and it puts my kids in jeopardy. So how, so tell me how posting pictures that we agree. And I, I understand your. I actually feel for this guy. It's, it's not gonna, it's not gonna prevent me from laughing at the situation, <laughs> but I actually do feel bad for him. I think he's earnest. Saying they're not inappropriate. They're pictures that any parent would have of a child. Would that be a correct statement as a starting point? Correct. So there's nothing. So what is the danger of third party? So lots of people post pictures of their children on social media. Um, lots of people see social media. Um, what is the danger of a parent being their mother posting regular pictures of children that lots of parents do? And because I see this is the post, and there is a, But so you think, what are these people going to do if they see pictures of your children? If she makes somebody mad with her habits that she has and they want to they want to go after her kids, that puts them in endangerment. Okay. So let me ask this. How long were you guys married? Uh, you'll, you'll also find out it's it's it, it, it's very interesting because he admits they're normal pictures. They're not there's not something wrong with them, but there's an existing order currently that she's not supposed to do it. Uh, around eight years, I'd say. I'm not exactly okay. sure. And how long were you guys split up before you divorced on August 16th of 2022? I don't know. I'm going to say about a half a year, but the first five years, things have been going sour since the first five years when I found out. So, 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 so who are all these? So you guys were together eight years. She was associating with all these dangerous, horrible people oh, no, during your marriage. No, she when she was with me, she did not associate with any of them. It's when she leaves and goes on her spree. When, when, when she leaves, well, she goes right back to her old habits. And what are the habits that you're alleging? Drugs. Um, she uh, she would prostitute. Um, and that's it. That's all I need to know. And that was happening during your marriage. You would split no, up. This is, when of she would, this is when she would leave because she. I feel like she would have a uh, relapse. So then she would leave, and then we try, and it's a repeat. It's been repeat ever since the first five years. And and you and and and, and have you guys you guys? I mean, I'm not there, but I tend to actually believe this guy's version of events have not been back since entry of your judgment. Would that be a correct statement? I don't see. There's not been counsel legal action since correct the judgment. No. Okay. All right. And why do you think she, how do you know she's participated in solicitation and alleged that she's using drugs and, and participating in solicitation, probably arguably to obtain money for drugs. Why do you think that? Or how do you know that? I've seen emails on her email account. I've, I've, I have proof from back that. when you were married. You don't, you don't have access. You don't have access to her emails anymore. Right. Now that you're not divorced. anymore, but, for some reason, my daughter's email was connected with her email, and I'd get those emails. And I have emails that I've saved in the past, and nothing's changed with her. Emails of people saying what? Of her trying to leave the country with other guys on these websites and asking them uh, that she's open to do anything. Uh, it wasn't really drugs related. It was more like uh, trying to find a sugar daddy related, you know, uh, hooking up okay. for money. Okay. It I'm currently per your judgment. Correct. Okay, and the parenting time, remind me of what that schedule is. If she is facilitated by my mother, um, she comes once a week, she visits for an hour, she calls the kids, which is fine. That's all right. Okay. It's all fine. And you think that if any of these people see pictures of your children, they'll use somehow know what they look like to locate them? You never know. These people on their social media, they're, they're lowest of the lowest. They have nothing to lose. Those are the most dangerous people there are. Okay. All right. So let me ask this question. So, so ma'am, this is your opportunity to respond, but just as a starting point, and guys, you guys have a judgment. Ma'am, this is, I'm going to direct this towards you. You have a judgment of divorce, a default judgment. So you were not there when it got entered. Is that a correct statement, ma'am? You didn't go to court or make any statements to the judge or take issue um, with is, any of these provisions? Well, that is correct, Your Honor. I actually was living in the house um, with Anthony and the children the time that the, the last court date was being processed. He um, lied to me and said I didn't have to be there. And turns out I did have to be there. Okay. I also have been living in the house since... This December 31st of 2022 up until August 22nd of this year. Sweet Jesus. What? Left and everything. That's the thing that blew me away. Yeah, I mean, she was there till August 23rd this year. After this guy testifies five years of this stuff. I get it. You have kids together, but uh, that's a hard no was going fine these past eight months um we started fighting and arguing and i thought that it was time for me to just go um i since then have had gotten hired at mclaren 
affiliated nursing home in Port Huron, Michigan. Um, I took a drug test two weeks ago to, in order to get this job. Um, and I'm, I'm doing everything right. What and you, he is and saying you, is, and you, okay, so, so just pause. You said a few things here, so I'm going to go. So you, you guys were reconciled from December 2022 through August 22nd, 2023? Correct. We were living together so and taking care of the okay, children. So let's, let's take a pause. So Mr. Ternamosi, were you in fact, was she living with you from December 2022 through August 22nd of this year? Yeah. So she, a few came weeks back, ago? she came back a couple of times. I mean, I feel bad for me. made a mistake, but I mean, you can't wife it up. Uh, we all know it. Everybody knows it. <sighs> I um, She even came and worked for my company, put her on payroll, didn't work out. Okay. She left a couple weeks ago. I was in a room with my kids. I caught her doing cocaine, and I caught her sending videos to guys. And I have proof of it. I have proof of the videos. I have proof of the text messages and everything. When she did come back, I think she was she was pregnant by somebody else, too. I helped her out with that. So, so let me ask this. So so how old is how old is your children? Eight and nine. And so when she was there back and forth from December to August. What's she was always supervised by me or my mother. She was never alone with these kids, never. But what, is that, what does that mean when you're supervising her? You're in the other room or, or what? We're together. Like, we're, in a, we're under the same roof. So what's her, what was her interaction with the kids while you were together in the house? I did everything for them. She, she was trying. And she, she did some stuff. Okay. Yeah, she helped out. So, what, so yeah. what, did she, what did she do? We what was the stuff she was doing? Right and ma'am, I'll let you respond in a moment. I'm what do you mean by first. that, sir? So she said she just said I was doing everything. What was she doing on a date? What were you doing and what was she doing? And what was your routine on a day to day basis? Work and work and take care of the kids. So who made breakfast, lunch and dinner? My mother, me or her. So your mom lives with you at your house? My mom lives with us. My mom is a huge asset to these kids because I'm very okay, busy. OK, well, that's great lot. to have. A, that's always good to have loving family members. So your mom was doing all the cooking. Miss no. Mosey didn't participate. Ninety nine percent of the well, cooking. I, Okay. Wait, so a guy that lives with his mom can't keep a stripper under control? <laughs> I'm shocked. Shocked, I tell you. And who took the kids to the store, to the doctor's appointment, or do they do extracurriculars or anything? Who did we all that? We all took part in that. We all took part of it. He's, okay. trying, he's stating that he doesn't want me at the school, but for the past eight months, I went to every school function, field trips, took them to and from school. And I was there. And I was you there. were not all the time. So, sir, sir, I what, what did she do? Time, so don't start stop. This stop. Combo. stop, sir. When I say stop, you stop. When I talk, you both stop talking. Got me? Do you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. I'm asking a question. All right. So, sir, she's at all the events. What would you, what did she act inappropriate in any way over the last eight months when you were living together? No, that's the problem. When she's here, she was good. But then she goes on a drug binge, okay? And there's been nothing but issues since the first five years when I realized she had drug problems. It's been nothing but issues. She has mental problems. She needs help and she won't get it. So, okay, so stop. Let's take these. What? How did she, what are the alleged mental health problems and how they exhibit themselves from December 2022 through August of this year when you were reconciled? I'm sorry, I don't understand that. So you say she has mental problems. How do they, how do they exhibit themselves? How do they exhibit balance. themselves? One minute, one minute she'll be happy. The kids will ask her for something to eat. She'll flip out. It's bipolar. I don't know. I'm not a medical doctor, but she needs to see that. Did you, did you go to the, did you go, did she go to the doctor the last? I tried helping her. She'll take her medicine, then she'll quit taking it. All right. So, ma'am, do you want to add to this dialogue your thoughts or um, your really, Rachel? I'll give you three guesses, and the first two don't count. <laughs> yes, I would just like to say that I was cooking dinner, taking the kids to school, breakfast, lunch, my mental problem. Um, I got mad at Anthony, as couples do. We argued back and forth, but I never took my anger out on the children. I've never hit my children or anything like that, unlike Anthony. So do you, do you want to respond that he came and caught you using cocaine and that you're soliciting people online, either video or otherwise? You want to if I was using that? cocaine, the only time I was using it was with Anthony Tortomosi. So. Absolutely not. You were doing it in a rubble when I was other countries. Uh, sir, sir, talk to me. I don't want you guys arguing with each other. Guys, this is what happens if you guys don't listen to me. I revoke your privilege to be on Zoom. That is a privilege, not a right, Re being remote. If you guys can't listen to me, I will have you come in here in person in the future for motions. You will have to drive, park at the courthouse, and sit in my courtroom. That's it, Lauren. That's probably That's inconvenient. It, right so there. I suggest you listen to me right. and not argue with each other and talk one at a time. Oh, I can hear you right. one at a time. I've, I've done this 25 things. years. I was a private family attorney before the court. Guys, no one's going to get a zinger in there. So stop talking over each other. Does that make sense? Yes. So yes, sir, she's would. now talking. I don't want you to call her a liar or interject. You wait till she's done, and then you and your attorney can respond. So I'm listening to her respond, and then you started saying no, da-da-da-da-da. 
So before she responds, Mr. Termosi, are you have you used narcotics with her in the no. from December 22 to August? So she's a no. liar. When she says you guys use coke together, you're lying. She's a liar. Correct. Okay. So may I that judge did not believe him for one second right there. <laughs> I, I don't either, although I I I think most of the other stuff he's saying, but he he didn't fess up to illegal drug use in court. It, you know. Um, what is your current living situation? I am living with my father at the time. Um, and like I said, I understand why he doesn't want the children here being his record. He is not a child molester. It says nowhere in his arrest record that he ever molested or touched a child. So right there, they're making that so, up. So, so tell me what the reality is. If that's not true, what is the truth? He was um, charged with doing stuff on the computer. I'm not exactly sure what it was. It was distributing child pornography or what it was. I'm not sure exactly. Sweet Jesus. What? How long did he go to prison for that? He didn't. In case, this has been going fast and furious in case you missed it. We are now talking about her father, who she lives with. Spend a day in prison, Your Honor. He didn't, was he in jail, the county jail for an extended period He was period in of time? county jail for two days. How many, how long ago was that? This was, um, I would say, 10 to 7 years, 7 to 10 years ago. I'm not. Okay. Exactly. Sure. So this was so seven to ten years. So during the eight years you guys were married, was your dad having contact with the children when you guys were together? Yes, he's actually year? Not, not the last year because Mr. Tortomosi did not like him for speaking his mind to him. Um, but yes, um, in the past three years, he has been in contact with the kids. He has been over at our house for birthday parties, Christmases, and spent plenty of time with okay. the children. So let me. I, so now, take a breath, guys. I'm going to move to procedurally here. So, ma'am, you. So when you got that August 16, 2022 judgment divorce and you say he tricked you and not to going or whatever, let me play devil's advocate. So he tricked, if I take, believe you and say he tricked you into not going, when did you finally get, finally get a copy of the judgment, finding out that it gave you supervised, um, supervised by his mother and that you couldn't post any form of uh, pictures on social media, which are specific provisions in the judgment. When did you get that judgment? Find out those provisions were there. I left. Um thanksgiving of last year i had left the house again for us okay. fighting us arguing us bickering and then when i left and came to my dad's that's when i found out the parenting time and everything i actually had my sister call me thanksgiving day to say that we were divorced i had no idea that we were divorced okay. so okay so you find out in thanksgiving of 2022 is there a reason you haven't filed a motion coming back to court to say hey there's this provision about not posting pictures hey it gives me restricted supervised parenting time is there a reason you didn't come back to court and say, hey, these are really restrictive provisions and I want to be able to post pictures and I want to have unsupervised or time that's not supervised by. Yeah, it's, that's why I read it, Betsy. It, like he, he was down for the party, but until she, you know, insulted him an, enough times and, and, not, and now he's going to act holier than thou about it. His mother who lived with you guys, is there a reason you haven't come back to, to say, um, hey, I, I didn't know this judgment was on her? I was, um... I haven't done anything because I went back with him and I was living there and everything. So I just, you know, everything was going great in my eyes. And then when I left this time, yes, I am working on it. I actually um, would like, a, a, I'd rather have a lawyer handle the situation for me. So I will be able to pay a lawyer this Friday. And so I'm just going to have him handle it all. Well, well, it's up to you whether you have attorneys or not, guys. I'm here now listening to you. So, um, and, and if you get an attorney, make sure they know that he has counsel because they'll let Mr. Ross know. So what is your thoughts? What is your intent? What do you think the order should be if you don't like? Because as a starting point, guys, the court these orders as clear on their face. That means if your order clearly says you shall not post pictures of your you children, it. that's a provision right now that's in this judgment. I so, think I oh, go ahead. OK, go ahead. well, I'm just making a point. It's in the judgment. You've never changed that. So at a starting point, when they say we want to enforce this provision, you have a provision that says don't post pictures of your children. Correct. Why we're having this big, long dialogue is I'm wondering how you got there. And what's the dynamics? I've now heard them. But as a starting point, you have a provision in a judgment that says you shall not post pictures. Do you understand that? I do. Okay. And you're planning to, to ask that parenting time be modified and you're going to file a motion to that effect? Yes. And I'm going to file a motion so I can post pictures, I guess, of my children on social media. So, as you stated. So, so when he says that he's worried that you associate with people that are either uh, that you're that are hiring you uh, in, in an illegal manner or that are drug users that would potentially prey on your children. What is your response to that? I 
I'm not doing any of those things. Like I said, I am working at a nursing home through McLaren. Um, I start school October 11th to become a registered nurse. I'm starting a CNA program this Wednesday. So any of these old habits that I may or may have not done are in the past. I'm working on getting my children and getting my life together so I can take care of them and get them out of the situation living with their father. So where do you think he's getting these allegations from? They're pretty, they're pretty extreme allegations. Why, where do you think he's getting this stuff from? Or why is he making them? Um, because when me and Mr. Tortomosi did get together the 12 years ago that we started dating, we met at a strip club. So yes, I was a stripper, but we met there. Okay. And, and, are, and, and guys, just as an aside, if you're doing anything online that's legal, OnlyFans, whatever, right? I'm just using that as an example. Are you doing things that are legal online, ma'am? Everything that I'm doing is legal online. I do not have any old. Tell, tell me about your OnlyFans career, would you please? <laughs> it's so deliciously awkward. I love it. OnlyFans. I'm not on any dating sites. Um, I don't even have a Facebook. So everything okay. that I'm doing is just. I so you're, I'm not, doing so, you're not, so you're not doing anything online that's legal that would be, for instance, termed adult entertainment. The adult Correct. industry. I'm not doing any adult and, entertainment. Okay. And guys, why I ask that is I'm not assuming it. I'm just saying there's a difference between Ill illegal and legal. So if there's something going on legally that's being, you know, argued that it's illegal, there's a difference. And there's okay, judge. I got it. I'm not gonna judge you for doing legal. <laughs> Uh, okay. Those things that we just talked about are legal. So I just want everyone to be honest. If it's something legal that's being interpreted as illegal, I want to know. And if there's nothing happening, I want you to argue that too. And so, ma'am, you're saying you're not you're not engaging in any kind of adult entertainment or adult I'm industry, legal or otherwise, is your position. Correct. I'm not doing any of those things. Okay. All right. So, Mr. Turtomosi, you assert she's lying to me right now? She's lying to the court? I have text messages when I was in Aruba with the kids. Um, I can I can get copies of conversations, the videos, the pictures. Um, um, the reason she left in November is because I found out she was pregnant with someone else's kid, which I paid for the abortion for her. Okay. And her dad, he was never around. The, all those years we were together, her whole side of the family didn't come to anything okay. but her mom. Her dad probably came to three events, really knows my kids, and that's the way I want to keep it. Okay. And guys, why are we doing all this? And and I appreciate counsel's being very patient with me and not <laughs> interjecting here. Um, why I got into this, guys, is if she files a motion for parenting time, this is all going to be a, a debate. So the point I'm making here right now is, guys, if there's any way for you guys to talk, which sounds like it's pretty hard right now, counsel can help you guys facilitate some kind of agreement. It sounds like she's going to be filing a motion. This stuff is all going to get referred. And why I'm talking about it right now is there's any way for you guys to resolve any of this um, without her filing a motion, you guys can talk and potentially counsel can assist you in preparing some kind of order. If not, she's going to file a motion and this is all going to come out. Why? I just wanted to hear where you started, how you got here. Um, but you guys have a pretty big divide between your positions right now. All I'm going to say right now in regards to this order today is one, as there is a default judgment entered on August 16, 2022, which bars posting of the minor children by defendant on social media. Uh, her and her family shall not do so, um, absent further order of the court. And ma'am, I'm going to make you bring that motion yourself. This is a judgment that's been entered, so I'm not going to refer it necessarily without you taking the step to, to file a motion and assert why that shouldn't exist anymore. Um, and let's see here. And what else are, would you like me to address today, counsel? Um, I believe, oh, her showing up at school, if it's not her parents. All right, so, okay, so let's talk about that briefly. So, ma'am, did you take the children out of school or you were just going to visit them? What, what went on with the school? I, this, I, the last time I was at the school was when I was living there together. Um, the only time I can think of is what he's talking about is I've been going to my son's soccer games. I didn't see anything being wrong with that, but... If I'm you can, you, you, can, you can you can go to any extracurriculars you want want to. You're not you're not prevented from going to extracurriculars, parent teacher conferences, school events, any of that. You're welcome so, to go there. So, sir, sorry. what's your concern about her going to the school? It, this would allude to me that you're talking about random times during the day for lunch or some other time. What are what is your problem with the school? I don't mind if she goes to school as long as I'm there. I don't want her father there. I don't want and her sister there. They're bad news. They're bad people. Why when, do bad when, people don't like kids? Why when? when when are, what is your allegations of her appearing at the school? What are you referring to? Are you saying in the middle of the day she went to see the kids and check them out of class? Or are you saying she went to lunch? I don't want her taking them out. I don't want her taking them out. Has she out. ever has she ever taken them out of school or done any of the things that you're you're no, afraid no, of? No, I don't want to wait for the problem to happen. I want to avoid that problem. 
Well, the court makes rulings based on things that have happened, not on what you're fear fearful of happening if, if they're unfounded fears. Why, ma'am, do you have any intent to go in the middle of the day and remove your kids in violation of a court order or, or take them out of school? No, I wouldn't do that because it's a court order. She's already violated the court order by posting pictures oh. on social media. Okay, okay, but you correlate posting pictures on social media, regular pictures with taking your children out of school and removing them from school? How do you? No, and I think this judge does a damn fine job throughout this hearing, except at this point. He, he, he doesn't conflate that judge. He said she just promised to abide by an order after admitting she violated an order. It's very simple. You connect the two. I'm not. I'm just saying she's already violated one. So what's the reason she would have violated a second one? That's why we're here today, because she violated well, it. Well, well, life, well, life is full of what ifs. And I don't rule on what ifs. I rule on evidence and facts that have been presented to the court. So you wait for the problem to happen? Is that what you're saying? Sir, this, this, this isn't a question and answer session between us. If you don't like my order when I rule it, you can talk to counsel. And I'm just asking. Questions. I'm just asking. I, I don't know. I'm, and it, this isn't a question and answer session between us. I ask questions and then you answer. That's how it works. That's how court works. Yep. It doesn't go the other way. The point I'm making is, guys, you can sweat the small stuff or you can exaggerate stuff and make it outrageous and unreasonable. But if you're going to want an order saying she can't show up at school, guys, I don't make orders to cover every scenario. She has no history of showing up at your child's school with her dad or anyone else other than regular events. Yeah, so but isn't this somebody, already an order? Isn't this already an order in this divorce paperwork? I don't know. Tell me, is there a provision in this order that says she can't go to school? I, I don't have it in front of me right now. I, I have to go over that it. That would not be a common provision order. That wouldn't be commonly done in an order. Counsel, any comments or anything you'd like to interject? I believe what he's referring to is the fact that he has sole legal custody. I did advise them that she, if the, one of the children has any soccer game, then it's, they'd be there anyway, so there's no objection to her going to something like that, like an extracurricular activity. Can I clarify one thing and put it in the record? Sure, absolutely. Abs absolutely. absolutely. There, I, anything I, you want to interject. Sorry. I, I, I filed a proof of service indicating that I sent her a copy of the judgment of divorce uh, as well as the Uniform Support Order, on August 17th, 2022, almost immediately after it was entered, I served it to her at her last known address on Kowadin, which I believe is her father's address. So I believe I even had a few email uh, exchanges with her prior to the entry of this judgment. I do know that I served her a copy of the proposed judgment prior to entry. So okay. her allegation that this was all a surprise is... is well, well, she, she, she's no, but even from her, even from her, even uh, from Mr. Nemosi's testimony, she knew as of Thanksgiving of last year, which was nine months ago. So, so even then there's been nine months to address these uh, restrictions in the, in the judgment. All right. So I'm going to indicate that a uh, two, both parties are permitted to attend the minor child's extracurricular sporting events and uh, parent teacher conferences, et cetera. This is what I'll say regarding being at school. Neither party shall appear at the minor child in school during the school day absent a legitimate reason for the same, i.e. family emergency, illness, um, doctor's appointment, etc. Those guys are just some examples of why you want to appear at school. I mean, most parents guys don't show up at a child's school, either parent during the school day and pull them out of class. So, guys, that's just a given. They're, they're, that's a unique situation in the court or anyone's going to be like, if anyone's showing up at school at random times, that wouldn't make sense. But I haven't heard anyone's done that. So. I'll just say what what is reasonable and no one's done it. I'm not finding that anyone did it. And I'm just making clear if you guys need clarification, don't be showing up at random times during the day unless there's a legitimate reason. Illness of yourself, a child, family emergency, doctor's appointment for your child, dentist appointment, I, whatever, guys. Um, but I haven't heard it's happening and uh, I've not found it's happened. But if you want me to say don't show up random times to school, I'll say it. All right. All right. I'm going to put in here three. Uh, should a uh, defendant wish to modify any of the provisions of the judgment, including parenting time, restrictions on photos, et cetera. Uh, she may file a motion and request the court to revisit those issues. I'm not going to say what the court's ruling will be, but ma'am, you got to present those issues to the court via motion. Motion packets are provided online um, at the front of the court website. Um, you can e-file them. Um, they're not that complicated. You don't necessarily need attorneys. If either party wishes to obtain an attorney, they're welcome to do so. Um, but this is a motion to enforce, so I'm not going to uh, impromptu basically refer issues that are not before the court at motion. So ma'am, if you want the court to revisit those provisions, you got to file your own motion, okay? Okay, Your Honor. Thank you. All right, counsel, anything else? And I'm going to put three. The matter of attorney fees is reserved to be addressed by the court should either party file objections to this recommendation. All Thank right. You. There's nothing further at this time. All right. So, guys, and sir, I'll just I, I, uh, advise you to talk to Mr. Ross whether you want to object or not. Um, I think Mr. Ross understands the points I've been making. Uh, you guys don't have to necessarily agree with okay. me. You have 21 days to object. Add an objection here that Honorable Terry Lindennings 
may uphold my order or change all or part of it. And at that hearing, her decision will be the final say. And so, ma'am, this is for you as well. I don't get mad. The judge doesn't get mad if either one of you does not like my recommendation. It is your right under the law to object. And at that hearing, the judge will decide if she wants to do something different. And whatever she decides, she's the boss. It's the final say. Okay. Okay. All right, guys, with that. All right, guys, have a good day, everybody. Please you stay too. healthy and safe. And you guys are all set. Holy wow. That's messed up. Mm-hmm. Judge, I believe William Thompson was. Okay. Speaking of April Searing, she sent me this earlier today, but I wanted to wait. I think, I think she put it out there. I, I know it's, it's made the rounds, but it's a sovereign citizen who rolls in, in front of judge. I think it's Brantley or something. I don't know. He's down in the 14th district with, uh, with our, with our good friend, judge van. And uh, some sub sit Florida man rolls in here and tries to spew the usual routine. And he is having none of it. It's fantastic. He is cranky and it's beautiful. Brought out Mr. Thompson. Come on out. Judge on the two cases, um, except for today, he was representing himself. You'd found him competent. Uh, to represent himself, but apparently over the weekend something happened and he's in custody. Is he set one one thirty docket? Ah, big dummy cut an cut an extra charge. <laughs> it's so fun. But there, I saw you had um, done a order revoking his release, but I couldn't find where we were appointed or if he was continuing to represent himself. I still want to rep- represent myself. And also, um, does this court recognize the Americans with Disabilities Act? I got no idea what you're talking about, sir. I'm being held at the jail and they're not recognizing the Americans with Disabilities Act. That's between you and the jail. That's what, that's Am I in your custody, Your Honor? Huh? Am I in your custody? Yeah, you're in custody. Am I in your custody? In my custody? Yes, sir. No, sir. I am a judicial. I don't have anybody in my custody. There's a separation of powers. The executive branch is one who maintains in custody. If you want to represent yourself, you need to educate yourself. But now we have attorneys appointed to represent you. Great. He's set for our, his information has been filed in these cases. All right, Mr. Thompson. You understand at any point in time that you can ask to have an attorney appointed to represent you? I understand that, sir. Right. And it's up to you if you wish to have one. I can appoint one uh, at any time uh, that you ask. Uh, do you still wish to represent yourself? Yes, sir. All right. We're here today on the case number 22-30-36. Madam Clerk, if you'll print out the copies of the information for me. Oh, it's thick. Yeah, I guess we need to arrange him on those. I believe he had a warrant out for his arrest and he got arrested on some new charges also. Your Honor, can I just put it on the record that uh, the jail is not giving me my, med- my medication? You just did. Thank you. <laughs> no pound sand. All right. You've received a copy of the informations. Was information filed in both cases? All right. You prepared to enter a plea at this time? I'm not, sir. I'm, I'm here to challenge jurisdiction. Challenge it. I'm here on special appearance to challenge jurisdiction, sir. Challenge it then. Do what you do what you want to do. Uh, okay. Well, I'd like to see uh, uh, the police officers' bonds. Uh, everyone involved. In I am case. going to deny your right to represent yourself based on the comments you're making at this time, unless you want to get on a plea of not guilty. No contest. 
or you want to stand mute on the charge. I'm not putting up with any of the, of the sovereign citizen stuff. So I'm not. I'm not trying to sovereign citizen. Enter a plea. You've been charged by way of an information. If you want to represent yourself, represent yourself in the correct way. I'm denying your uh, whatever what was it, uh, contesting the jurisdiction. I'm denying that. So enter a plea. If I, if I enter a plea, I'm just dis enter a plea. You can stand mute. You can enter a no contest plea. You can enter a guilty plea, not guilty plea. I'm in dishonor if, if I there's no controversy. I don't I don't there's I'm not denying any of the facts of the case, Your Honor. Then what are you is there doing? a remedy? <laughs> You're at arraignment now. This is when you enter a plea. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find the defendant has stand has stood mute. Which is the same as a no, as a not guilty plea. But I'm finding you for standing mute because you're not entering a plea. Uh, has he got new felonies pending, or they're all misdemeanors? Uh, the 233036 is a felony case. He, so he was out on bond 2352 pick up a new misdemeanor case again. All right, we'll study for October 16th at nine o'clock for an arraignment. Any point in time, sir, you can ask an attorney to be appointed to represent you, and I'll appoint one, okay? Yes, sir. All right. Boy, I'm just getting railroaded here. You're that you're their client that we're talking about. But please keep your head up. Don't walk in and out of the booth. I understand that it's uh, time for uh, dinner, but we will get through this as quickly as possible. Don't turn around. Don't lean against the wall. Don't do things like that. We're in a courtroom. Please treat it as such. Now, when I call your name, wave your hand for me, all right, gentlemen, because I don't know who you are. So I'll have to, I'll call your name. Don't delay. Don't just sit there. When I call your name, please wave so that I'll know who you are. Okay. So, uh, Mr. Baskin, you said uh, you are going to wave your client's presence, right? Because he's not going to be there. I am, Your Honor. Yes. All right. So we could go ahead really quickly if you want. And do we got Bostic on here? Bostic, Bostic, Bostic. Bostic is back, baby. Here's Bostic. Well, we can't find it. Again. He's oh, on your chat. I'm on here. All right, I see her now. All right, so this is number 25. We'll do this first since uh, Miss Beskin has somewhere else that she needs to be. All right, if you're not a lawyer, keep your camera off. This is not visitation time where you get to look at your loved one. So turn your camera off or I will turn it off. All right. This is number 25, 23. Just, just before you begin, I'm sorry. He's in medical, so she says she don't want him pulled. Is that because they're going to put him in court? Right. She's too. waving his presence. Okay. She, she's waving. All right. So this is 23, CP 220487, Durante Outlaw, 54 days without indictment. There's no bond as of 729. Possession of a knife or a firearm during the commission of a felony and aggravated assault. Pre trial. In regards to Durante Outlaw, 14 prior cycles, open case for aggravated assault, two counts aggravated battery with a weapon during 2015 battery and FTA, two arrests for probation violation, first offender who purchased manufacturing of controlled substance, 2014, nothing further. All right, great, Ms. Beskin. Yeah, thank you. I did want to bring up a probable uh, cause just issue concern to the table. We've not had this preliminary hearing yet, Your Honor, but um, my client was shot three times um, and he is wheelchair bound now, as was Ms. Robinson announced. He's in the medical unit of the jail. Uh, he's been transported back and forth to the Grady Hospital multiple times in his 54 days that he has been there. Um, there was no weapon found on him um, or in the home that he was at. And so I just wanted to bring that to the, the court's attention as uh, there will be a self-defense um, defense at the time of the probable cause hearing, Your Honor. Um, okay. In terms of bond, um, he is a lifelong resident of Fulton County. If he's released on bond, he would actually be living in Henry County with his sister because he is in need of um, full-time care uh, for doctor's appointments, his infections from his gunshot wounds, and being in a wheelchair. Um, I can give that address for the court. Um, it would be at 819 
Witherspoon, that's W-I-T-H-E-R-S-P-O-O-N, Court, McDonough, Georgia, 30253. Uh, Mr. Allah is not a threat to himself or others. Um, he does have all of his family here in the Fulton County and Henry County area. Uh, he's living with his sister, as I mentioned, Your Honor. He is on a flight risk. Um, he's been in custody 54 days. At this time, we um, oh, also, you know, the, well, never mind. I'm going to ignore that note I had to myself. Um, for the aggravated assault, Your Honor, we're asking for 10000 on that and 5000 on the firearm. Nothing further. All right. What says the state? Your Honor, the state will be asking for a higher bond, just given the nature of the allegations. The state will be asking for no less than uh, 30. The state is concerned, particularly uh, with an open case in Clayton County um, with uh, similar like offenses um, in July 23rd of 2021. I don't believe it's been resolved at this point, but the state is concerned um, since that offense is also an aggravated assault. Um, I think some of the uh, opposing counsel's arguments would be best suited at an immunity hearing or at a preliminary hearing, um, but the state's just concerned um, with that open case as well as um, some personal offenses and defendants history as well. Um, so state's concerned with the risk to reoffend as well as the uh, danger of the victims given the nature of the allegations in the warrant as um, at least according to the warrant, witnesses stated that he was a person who initially started the altercation. A state would just ask for no contact with the victims of shooting um, and no returning to the location. And I believe that is Yes, 3540 North Camp Creek Parkway, um, and no contact with the victims, Micah Walcott, Mikkel Walcott, and Cedric Kirksey, um, as in, as uh, placed on the warrant, Your Honor. No holds anywhere, right? Let me verify, Judge. A Bostic. Four one Bostic. You see, I'm what? looking in the second. In Oh, Scott, can you hear me? Stand by, I'm having a little bit of audio difficulty. Can you hear me now, Ms. Beskin? I can hear you now. I don't see any holes. I don't know of any holes either, Your Honor. I don't see any right. Judge. All right, got it. Now, okay, now y'all can hear me, right? Yes, Judge. Yes. Prescribe no alcohol, no weapons, no further contact with Cedric Kirksey, K I R K S E Y, or Mikal Walcott, M Y K A L W A L C O T T. No further contact your co defendants. First name S H A N I A H, last name Harris, H A R R I S. Or, well, I think the other one may. Okay, yeah. You can have an ankle monitor paid for by the county with a 24 hour curfew, court, lawyer, medical employment, as long as you supply the name of your employer, proof of employment schedule in the exact location you're going to be working. Also, uh, any medical appointments and stay out of Fulton County unless you're here for medical treatment or court or to see your lawyer. That's the only reason you need to come. Yeah, 5000 and 10000 Best of luck to you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Your Honor. May be excused? Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> All right. We got Ricky Berry. 
Wave your hand if you're Ricky Bears. Judge, I don't think she has yeah. them in the booth yet for Cobb. Okay. All right. Well, sorry. May have to skip down to ACDC and it'll look like she has anyone in the booth. All right. Hey, yeah. Judge. Yeah. Your Honor, just so you know, I mean, I was trying to enable my camera and it says I can't start the video because the host disabled it. So I don't know if I need to log out and log back on. Oh, okay. They just working? did. Yes. Right. Okay, Judge. Right. So what, what was the Bailey. issue? Judge, I'm Mark Gaffney here for Jayla Bailey. All right. So I got position 20. 23, CP, 219658, 86 days without indictment, no bond as of June the 26th, aggravated assault, criminal trespass. Pre Trump. <laughs> okay, this call is horrible tonight. And I, I think I know why, because I, I read in the chat, it's, it's, it's got bad energy. Did anything did anything exciting happen here? Did anyone see it? Because it's a bummer. It's bringing me down. No? <laughs> I, th I, th I think I'm just going to close this out. Usually I can rely on this, but it's understandable under the circumstances. There, there, there's no energy. There's no energy in that court. So I think I'm just going to close it out with a thruple. See, I, I'm going to use Miss Fowler's words. She now is in a thruple. And not only does she choose to be in a thruple, and she's shacked up in the bed with the thruple. Now, if anybody thinks this is okay, I am in the wrong world. Well, there you have it. There you have it. It's just just a little a little lame down there in uh, Fulton County today, and that's and that's understandable if what, if what I'm seeing is correct. <clears throat> but... Uh, <sighs> The, the other stuff was rock solid. <laughs> Meredith Stripper and it didn't go well. Who knew? Who could who could see that thing, that sort of thing happening? Uh, right. That and uh and Florida so Florida man sovereign citizen rolling in to a judge who, who was having none of it. Absolutely none of it from the get. Good times, good times. Thank you, April, for sending that to me. Thank you all for coming out. I appreciate it. Uh, link to April's channel in the description below. It's good stuff. I think she probably did a video on that. I will see you all soon.